Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here. Barrel scraping Dave, bringing you content. It's the off-season, baby. No episodes till July 11th, 2022. But boy, do we have a lot to talk about. This is our fifth video regarding Claytgate, the TikToker who accused him of cheating on his girlfriend Susie with her on Friday night and then later apologizes and saying she was catfished. This happens a lot, right? The, uh, the uh, jockeying to play the victim here. Is she the victim of a catfishing or... Does she have a formulaic approach to creating TikToks? I feel like I need the X-Files music here. Could she be a catfisher? Or is she a 22-year-old who's trying to get famous on TikTok? Let's find out. Follow me on Instagram, at Dean Niels. And of course, join me on Patreon with all of our Patreon members here for private behind-the-scenes live streams, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We call them Work With Dave. We do several hours a day on most weekdays of Patreons where you get to watch us create the thumbnails and put it all together. Is this a good quote? Is that, you know, and all that jazz. So let's get into it here. Of course, I got a new stand-up channel, Dave Neal, Stand-Up Comedy Clips. Go check that out. New content, both shorts and longer form stand-up clips every single day. And again, let's scrape some barrels here with regards to this story. Some information has come in that... Uh, shows different videos of the TikToker uh, essentially, you know, having the same story happen to her. Can you believe this happened to her with Clayton and an athlete and a celebrity? I mean, boy, does she uh, is she in the know as for a 22-year-old college student? You know what I mean? Barrel scraping Dave. Uh, so as we scrape away, we just remind everybody that um, she accused him of cheating. He denied it with proof. Then he DM'd her saying, don't make me go public with this. You're going to look stupid. And she's like, try me, bitch. And then he does. And then she is. And then she uh, deletes the uh, update video that she made. Susie Speaks, of course. We get Susie speaking here where she shares her story that's Clayton's better half, as it were. And then she shares the different um, uh, uh, FaceTime receipts that she has, showing that the only way Clayton was hooking up with the TikToker is if he was doing it while FaceTiming with Susie. I know he's into some kinky stuff, but I don't think that's it. So I got this message, and but we're going to really heat up on this topic. You know, Normally for me, the first video, it's a single. The second one's a pop-up. Then we really get used to the picture, and next thing you know, we're just knocking it out of the park. This is knock it out of the park, Dave. I got a comment from someone saying, does he just compliment himself during all of his videos? Yes. Here's <laughs> the question I got. Hey, Dave, I have a little more tea for you. Oh, boy, we need the tea. Hold on. If, if we have tea, we need to get our tea uh, song on here. So I'm drunk. Oh, that's not the one. Hold on. We have a nice tea button we like to press here. So let me get that going. Do you want a spot of tea? Yes, we do. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Oh, we we give us the tea. tea. Bring us all the tea. And then we like to back it up. So if it's you just, just a spot. back up the tea. All the way. All right, we got it. Hey, Dave, I have a little more tea for you on the Sasha situation. Also, I love your channel. Been watching from the beginning. You're awesome, and I'd love to join the Patreon for as little as $5 a month. So I did a little digging and found out that Sasha has several videos where she talks about interacting with celebs who she later found out were all in relationships. Okay, I'm listening. We've, we've heard this. People say, oh, she's made these videos before. I haven't watched them. We're, we're about to watch them. And she did her full apology and then deleted the initial video. So here's... Um, uh, well, I'll share in one second what she said, but this was sent to me. This seems to be her thing. She tells the same story, but then interchanges the type of celebrity that it's about. One athlete, one Hollywood star. And she did have video about a Vine star, but I can't seem to find it anymore. Boy, can you imagine bragging about a Vine star? How was it? Well, he didn't even last the length of a video. You know what I mean? That's a joke because the Vines are only six seconds long. Barrel scraping Dave. This girl knows damn well she is lying. That's why she is now changing the narrative and playing dumb. Even going as far to make up the lie that it was someone pretending to be him. She's full of stuff and is just trying to cover her A because now she realizes that her repeated actions might actually have consequences. Can you believe that? Your repeated actions may actually have consequences. So along with these DMs that I'm receiving, which most of us, you know, look, I'm not super conspiratorial. I'm not. I don't always have tinfoil helmets on and think the earth's flat and the stop to this. No, 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 no. Practical, right? But to me, it's very practical thinking that people on TikTok are desperate because we've followed these stories, you know? I mean, I got ref, I got ref hat Dave here for a reason because we're, we're nonstop getting sent stories of people that are clout chasing, which means trying to attach yourself to somebody else's star so that you can receive some of that equity. So anyway... 
someone else had the same take. My take on the whole whole deal. She absolutely slept with Clayton lookalike, but he never claimed to be nor led her to believe he was Clayton. She, being the clout chaser she is, saw the opportunity and ran with it. That's why there's no photos. She wanted security footage that she knew would be blurry and could pull for Clayton and help substantiate her story. She wanted her 15 minutes and was not cognitively advanced to realize maybe Clayton and Susie were in contact and were with people to vouch for him. So when they came with the receipts, she went full surprise Pikachu face and doubled down on the catfish story. Pretty well said. And this this conspiracy reads like fan fiction, but what really reads like fan fiction is her own TikToks doing the same thing. Now listen, I remember being 22. I didn't have too many stories about celebrities trying to bang me and all of a sudden their wives like Jennifer Anderson's like, he's with me. And like Brad Pitt's like, no, you know, I don't know. Okay. And again, maybe I'm just not cool enough. I wasn't in the right social scenes here. But um what are the odds that uh, that she that 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 this all adds up? Have a watch. Let's watch the other examples of her essentially doing the same thing. So yeah, this famous dude appears back in my DMs. It's time and to I am shook because one, remember what happened last time. Two, you still have a girlfriend. So I responded. She's so busy. She has to type. Is this blank insert name of celebrity, or is this the hacker again? And so right after that, he viewed the message. Didn't reply, as expected. Um, and a few days later, he posted with her on Instagram. Like, you tell me. And it is, I am spit sisters with Tana. And she can keep him. I DM this celebrity that I love. More shoe and he time. responded. So I was super, super excited. By the way, she does this thing. I'm no, I'm no like, a, you know, speech pathology expert or anything. I do, I do think I've got some intuitive vibes. Like they say, you know, men with nice hair are, have better intuition, uh, which I know is true because I just felt it. And w when when she, she does a lot of this, like, uh, like um, kind of a Nickelodeon, like, well, I can't believe this is my life. Count how many times she does this. Like, can you believe I got myself into this situation? It's almost like she's trying to create this um, sort of, um, brand of like, woe is me. I'm always in the, you know what I mean? Like one of those friends that's like, oh boy, I've got the craziest stories. Do you, Cheryl? Do you? And we talked for like, I don't know, a little bit over a month. And once we hit the one month mark, he was like, yo, let me fly you to LA. And my little dumb college ass is like, sure. So I'm like all excited and I'm looking up flights and stuff and we're planning everything. We're like really getting it on, okay? And then I get a DM from his girlfriend, who I did not know existed. What? And so I like asked him about it. I was like, <laughs> um, like what's going on there? And um, he proceeds to basically unsend every message that he ever sent me. Adios. And his reasoning for why, why I had been, you know, talking to him while he had a girlfriend was, um, he had been hacked for the last month, and we we had never actually spoken before. It was the hacker who was talking to me. Oh my gosh. So I'm like, okay, sir, whatever. The hacker was talking to her from his account? Oh my gosh. That's almost like when she said she didn't out Clayton. It was one of her friends using her page. What? You say, like, do your thing. I don't want to be involved in your little Hollywood drama. I'm going to stay. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a chill. As far as I know, they were still together like a week ago. However... I just received a DM from him. I sort of put a sports player on blast because this comment, it made me think of it. We're doing the nasty gal boots as usual. Um, so basically I was bored and I, I DM'd a random, you know, I'm not gonna say it's sport, but I, I DM'd an athlete and he responded and it was super fun, whatever. And I like made a TikTok back in the day uh, I blurred out his face, I blurred out his name, everything, okay? I, I was not not trying to put him on blast, but I accidentally put him on blast because turns out a lot of people on the internet can see through blurred photos and blurred names. Yeah. What? Basically, um, you know, DM this guy, put him on the internet by accident without knowing people would figure it out. And um, <laughs> next thing I know, it's posted to a meme account on like some like sports channel thing. I don't really know. So I get a lot of weird texts, a lot of weird, you know, uh, DMs and stuff. Everyone's like, dude, you're on, you're on a, you're on this meme account for this athlete who's really well known. And he's kind of freaking out though, because he didn't want to be put on blast like that. 
So long story short. All right, that's all we have. All right, thank you guys very much there. That was my interpretation here of uh, how to handle a 22-year-old who's got such a wild life, you know what I mean? Everyone so. Shivers. Oh, okay, so anyway, but, and by the way, I did want to shout out that these rings that I just used, you know, Influencer Dave here, come from a fan of our show, Shop Luna Demile. Am I pronouncing that right? She sent these to my fiance. So they obviously don't fit me because they're not meant for my, uh, you know, big old knuckly hands here. But these... Uh, Pretty nice little pieces you can get over here at her page. On She has a new boutique store on Instagram. So go give her a follow and tell her you just heard her randomly get shouted out on our nice video here. But, okay, okay, so we see how this is kind of all blending in, right? Now, look, could she have gotten catfished by, Clay, by a Clayton lookalike? Yeah, that's still on the table. But I don't think it's wild to be like, I'm... I'm smelling bullshit. I don't think it's wild. So here's her new apology. Yes, and I truly... And she's uh, apparently not... I don't... Let's see if she's uh, tying any, you know, shoes here. I am so sorry to Susie and Clayton. Um, I was genuinely under the impression that I was with him. And after getting camera footage, Reality C was able, able to confirm with me that it was not him. The okay, so you, you guys you guys remember what it's like to hook up with someone and then you have to call someone else to have them verify what that who that person was? I mean, come on, right? Listen, I, I understand her life's a little messy here. She's 22. Like, I get it. I understand. I miss those days, right? Before you owe your student loan debt, right? Those days you can't rent a car. You just live with a bunch of, you know, you got your library card, a bus ticket, and hope, right? Remember those days? Either way, look, yeah, cognitively her brain's probably not finished being developed and maybe she didn't see the outcome here. But she She's just at Smolletting us, right? She's just at Smolletting us. Just fess up to what you did, you know? When he's going to take it to the grave. And again, hey, if I were her and I was catfished, I would want like evidence and I wouldn't want to find the security and I wouldn't want to put that guy on blast. I would want to do all those things. We'll have to see if she does that. I'm keeping an open mind. Let me know what you guys think. More content coming your way. Uh, I've got uh, Patreon link uh, episodes happening and so much going on. All day long, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye, everybody.